Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. And uh, as you can tell, in today's video, we are sitting down at a table at the same park that we shot the last two videos at because, yeah, I, I think it's easier for me to shoot like three videos at a time. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, but uh, yeah, um, in today's video, um, I'm just really gonna dive in a little bit. Um, we're actually gonna talk about something that uh, is kind of like going on in my life um, and uh, can't give you all the details right now. Um, I've made many videos on this, but as far as what's on this channel, I don't believe there's anything on this channel, maybe only like one video about it. So um, yeah, let's just, let's just kind of dive into it. So basically, um, I uh, have a situation in my life right now which has costed me a lot. Um, the situation, um, I can't really go into detail about, but it is um, it's a situation with another person and, uh, you know, it's a person who really screwed me up, like, not only like mentally, but like screwed up everything for me as well. Um, this particular person, man, like I lost like everything, like I lost my apartment, I lost um, job opportunities that I had at the time. Um, and I'm losing job opportunities right now because this whole situation affects my background check on job applications. So it's, it's a major deal. Um, and it, it's really sucked, honestly. Um, so it's been ongoing for about two years now. Um, COVID kind of set everything back, but like it's the whole thing's ridiculous. Like, like I said, I can't really go into details on the specifics of it, but it's like someone you know, accusing you of something you didn't do. And like the ramifications of it are just immense for me. Of course, they don't have anything happening to them. You know, they go off, they live their life just fine, you know, and, and I have to deal with the consequences of something that I didn't do. So that's kind of what I'm in right now. It's very bad like situation, you know, like a lot of people, you know, like close to me that they're asking me like, you know, if I'm okay mentally, you know, if I need um, any kind of like medication or like anything like that. And I would say that for the most part, I'm okay. Um, but it just sucks, you know, like knowing that someone like could do that and like screw my life up so much. And there's like really, you know, no evidence of anything. And it just sucks, you know, honestly, and, and I hope it gets cleared up because, yeah, it's annoying the crap out of me at this point because, you know, I'm just trying to move on with my life. Like, I'm trying to get jobs that I want to get and, like, not have someone take things away from me anymore. You know, like, I just want to, you know, go to Colorado again because, of course, I can't leave state right now, so it's like a whole situation where like I'm not even able to pursue what makes me happy because of this person and um, it just really sucks guys um, I know that you know we, we kind of took like a dark turn in this video but it's more important for me that um, well more important to me that I'm real with you guys um, you know because life is not always you know positive there are negative sides to it and there's uh, situations that happen that are unfortunate um, and for me, like, I'm in like, I guess the lowest of the low in my life right now. Um, so I'm still gonna try to put videos out for you guys. You know, as you guys can tell, like I'm still like trying to post videos and everything, trying to make good content, but it's hard when you have that in the back of your mind for so long. Um, and there's constant reminders of it all the time because, you know, there's this person I have to report to like every week and like, it just sticks around with me, you know, and, and I, don't, I can't let go of it. You know, they don't allow you to let go of it. And you know, with this whole experience, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I probably have already given a little bit too much um, information, but like basically for me in my past, I've never been like charged with a crime ever. Um, I've never been in, in jail or prison ever. Um, and so for this to happen, it's, um, it's extremely different and extremely scary at the same time because, you know, it's like one person's word versus another, but the state that I'm in right now, as far as I can tell from like, you know, the research I've done 
and just kind of like witnessing how society is. Um, like, you know, the legal system favors one gender over the other, and with that being said, it doesn't look too good for me. So, my hope, um, I just there's like nobody around, um, my hope is that, you know, I'll be able to move past this and, um, you know, be able to, to leave state again and like go travel, you know, do what makes me happy because, you know, everything that's been taken from me, it's not right. You know, like the the stress that, that's been put on my family too because of this is not right. Um, and I'm just, I'm really hoping it gets cleared up. Um, although I'm scared of, of if the jury believes me or not, which I hope they do because I'm not here to lie or anything. Um, you know, I just, I want it cleared up, guys. That's just, it's always on my mind every day, all day, and it is very annoying um, to have that in the back of your mind all day, every day. And uh, yeah, and I just, I just want this stuff gone, guys. So bear with me. Some of the content on this channel, you know, like maybe um, kind of like not as energetic, like you may not see me doing stuff that you might find that interesting. But please stay subscribed, you know, like I'm still trying to put videos out for you guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, like just expect that in the back of my mind, there's stuff going on and in my life, there's stuff going on. Um, so at some point, I will be able to give you guys more details on everything. But for now, I can't really do that. Um, but basically, um, just I'm having a... A bad time in my life right now you know over the past couple years that's why my content on all my youtube channels has been lacking um but i'm really trying to like push myself and really try to bring my old self back and shoot documentaries and you know cinematic stuff so um but anyways guys with all that being said i got about like 20 seconds left on my camera here before the card runs out so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much it means the world to me as you guys watch these videos. So, um, yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.